Sooner Scoop HD. Josh McQuistion of SoonerScoop.com here with Oklahoma 2024 Edge offer, KV on Henderson. Like you said, we were talking a little bit off camera, man. Got here a little late, kind of had to jump into it when some of the other guys had a little time to get loose. What a... You know, how much does it help just being kind of a veteran, kind of knowing these camps and doing it for a little while? Uh, it helps a lot, man. Uh, the great, great guys I hang around, I camp with a lot. So I just like camping. I just like dominating one on ones. I wasn't satisfied with one rip, so it made me go against the guy again. So I beat him, and then I, no, I lost and I beat him, and I got my two rips back, back to back, and I won. So um, I don't like losing at all. So I take that very personal. And uh, just get a great fan for college coaches to see. So I really like that. I hope Coach Bates sees it and Coach Chavez <laughs> see it. Okay. Now, you said, um, you know, you, you, I saw you go. Like, one point you had a hand down, other time you stood up. Is there one you're more comfortable doing? I mean, one you like better? Versatile. I could do anything. I could, um, I'd, be, I'd be an outside linebacker this year, too. Uh, coach put a few packages in. I'm an edge guy. I can play with my hand in the dirt. And I can play outside linebacker and middle. So I'm, I'm ready to showcase my new skills to coaches and Coach Bates and all, Coach Chavez and everybody else who ever want to see it. So. <laughs> all right. Now, you know, you've mentioned uh, both Coach Chavis and, and uh, Coach Bates. Is there, um, is there one that you're in more contact with? I mean, I know Bates has got an Alabama background, so that makes sense. But obviously I think you'd be playing under Chavis if you ended up at OU. So yeah. is it pretty equal down the middle or one kind of focus on you a little more? I say Coach Bates because my coach said he visited school a lot. Mm -hmm. So, like, this this month he visited school a lot. Mm -hmm. We can't talk. To, I can't talk to him. Sure. So he visited school a lot, but I call coach. Now, when I call Coach Chavez, just know that phone call going to be like an hour. We're talking to his kids. <laughs> We talking about everything. We talking about moves and all that. So it's just an at-home thing. Family. I called the coach. Um, head coach. Uh, Venables. Yeah, coach mm -hmm. uh, Venables. Talked to him a lot. He's picked up one. He was in the car. So every time I call him, he picks up. So I, I love Coach Venables, man. I guess he. I, I think he's the best around. Now you said uh, with Coach Chavis, you got an hour. You got to set aside if you're gonna call him. Do you talk more than five minutes of that hour? Is it him filling up 55 and you get about five? Both. I just be laughing at him. Like he be, he's so funny. He got that juice. He, his energy off the wall. So and stuff like that, man. I just be laughing. I said, man, coach, you're funny, man. So yeah. Well, I know you know you and I talked after the uh, the visit for the spring game. Mm -hmm. Seemed like that went really well. For, you know, for both you and Mario. Um, what um what was it that stood out to you so much? I mean, you really you came away you know pretty open with how much you liked OU. Oh, I love it. The atmosphere was great, man. I signed a few autographs. That's the first time I did that. <laughs> Walked around the stadium. I talked to Adrian Peterson, Baker Mayfield. I was like, oh man, I feel at home. I feel I got to come up again, man. So. I, uh, so they crystal ball me and Mario, so I really like that. I thought. Okay. So I like that little crystal ball. You mentioned Coach Chavis' energy. Coach Venables, he's kind of you know known for that as well, especially for you know just being an older guy. Um, when you talk to him, I mean, what's that conversation like? Is it just him getting to know you a little bit? Uh, I mean, when he was at Clemson, he was already recruiting me, yeah. so it just felt like we talk here and there, sure. talk a lot basically. But when he was at Clemson, he already had to jump ahead on me like in ninth grade. So, you know, they couldn't offer guys. I was the 23rd guy they offered. So, Coach said when he seen my family, he loved it. He, he didn't know I was in 24, so that's the thing. He didn't believe it. But hey, I'm glad they offered me and got in the mix early. Okay. Now, you mentioned wanting to get back. Do you have any idea when that might be? In the summer, so, I can co uh, so Coach Chavez can teach me new things. So, okay. in the summer. You going to go camp? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm looking forward to the camp. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, nice. You're going to go up there for the barbecue, kind of do the whole thing? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, because what, what stood out, man, Coach, Coach let us get in the – like, when they broke it down, when the edge guys broke it down, he said, come on, y'all get in, all the recruits, man, some other guys. Mm -hmm. It's like we were just in. It felt like I was going to play for a little second. He was like, break it down, break it down. I was like, oh, my man. <laughs> so it was it was crazy. It was crazy. Now, I ask every guy from regions that are known. I mean, Alabama knows something about barbecue, man. Are you ready to see what Oklahoma can do? Oh, yeah. I seen we, Yeah, they got some good food up there. I tasted okay. the food. So, yeah, I'm ready for the barbecue. All right. All right. Well, uh, now, what else you got coming this summer? I know we talked a lot about OU, but I know you got some other stuff cooking. I think I, I, I got Cincinnati on the 2nd. Okay. And I got North Carolina coming up in Miami, Arkansas, Georgia, Oklahoma. 
And some more schools coming up. I just gotta throw them in. You're gonna be busy this summer, man. Yeah, I might just when I go to North Carolina, I might just go to Duke too, since they just offered me okay. yesterday. Sure. So yes, now. Now is there? I mean, do you have kind of a plan? Like, I want to have it down. I mean, I know you're not even near a decision, but do you want to have it down to a certain number? You know, I want to have it down to ten by the end of my junior year or something like that. Yeah, I was the top twelve. Uh huh. Because I got like forty offers, so I'm sure. gonna break it down to a top twelve. Y'all had that like. Maybe after June. Okay. After June. Okay. After I see all these camps and all the sure. coaches, but I really wanted to wait to after September the first so I can see who's interested in me. Sure. So like, not me just hand them up first, like mm -hmm. all that. So I might. So I'm still start getting those official offers. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay. All right. Again, well, this has been Josh McQuiston or Soonerscoop.com here with a uh, guy that got an invite to the uh, underclassmen uh, challenge, yeah. Kavion Henderson. Yes, sir. Sooner Scoop HD.